And winning 7-5, 7-6. Overcome her Japanese opponent in round one against Misaki Doi. 6 1 in the decider, saving. Beautifully played on the drop shot. Strong enough. The second serve, however, I'm not so sure. Yeah, nicely cut off. It was a good attempt by Di Giuseppe to go cross court. But Wong is a very agile player, very quick mover as well. Beautifully executed, really well timed lob by Digiseppi. Well, Wong did look susceptible at times on serve against. Again on the lob, just standing her ground, all stemming from the drop shot once again. Yeah, too much on that one from Wong's perspective. too easy so today so far it's uh, living up to expectations because Wong has capitalized on that break point and it's Both players have benefited from a net court in the early stages then. Ah! Just wide. And on we go, this sequence of events. Well, Marta Morozinska has come over to have a look. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's been called good actually. So the call is overturned. Found the line as well. Well, more inside the line than anything else. Yeah, well played. Just had to keep it all together there. Just had to make. She's found another one as well. That's two in this 
game alone. Yeah, nicely steered. The town all of a sudden. Yeah, nicely done. Oh, wonderful play. Great reactions. Digi Seppi. Yeah, the short ball punish with the forehand winner cross court. Oh, routine put away for Wong. You often encounter that sort of situation in the early stages of a match. But I think once she'd saved the seven break points. Yeah, really playing the angles very well indeed there, Di Giuseppe, finding the line with... Yeah, ruthlessly put away again on the forehand this time of nine juices. But Di Giuseppe chalks off another game on the scoreboard and 5-1 becomes... Confidence again from Wong on the forehand. And that'll do it. Well, she had to weather a storm. She had to weather the fight back from Digi Seppi. It was far from plain sailing for the number six seed, but Wong gets the opening set. A very tetchy and a very... Easy put away in the end. Well, she enjoyed that moment as well, and I think she had would be uh, very welcome indeed. It would just make life a little bit more comfortable for the next few months. Oh, that's too good. Yeah, she finds a way through, despite the best efforts of the number six seed. And yeah, again, the second serve, questions have to be asked about it. Well, I think these things have uh, evened themselves out. Yeah, that'll do it. Far too much. Far too presentable. And... Oh, wonderful play. Really stuck to the task very well there.
Yeah, really well carved out point. Nicely played. Far too much space to exploit there. One was exposed. Oh, just a little nonchalant flick of the wrists as well to steer that one over. That was nicely played. Oh, she's got it right this time. And the contract. But now, very much in it. Thing at times on her, sir. Oh. But she took the pace right off that, and that was all about the placement and the angle. That was right there, 15.30. Really should be love 40. She just about makes amends. Quite as epic as the uh, battle she had with Soribes Tormo in Rome. That's uh, again another first serve that has a lot of pace taken off it. But uh, this week against the aforementioned Soribes Tormo, number seven seed in Palma. Nicely finished off. Maybe just maybe DC Seppi can. Uh, she's gone along again, carbon copy almost from DC Seppi. She secures it with an ace. Five games without reply for Wong, who overturns a 4-1 deficit in the second set to reach the last eight in Palmer. And the number six seed celebrates her passage into only her third quarter-final on clay at tour level at the expense of the Italian qualifier, Martina.